This uh, video is about uh, creating an electrical systems drawing. It's uh, part two, creating device symbols. Uh, in part one, we uh, established a background from a CAD drawing. Now we're going to be creating some uh, fire alarm symbols to uh, use in this drawing. Let me start by zooming in a bit on this and um, we're going to make some basic shapes for the symbols. And start out with a circle, which we'll use for some of the initiating devices. And we're going to make a square, which we use also. Okay, now the symbols that we're going to use are. Uh, NFPA 170 standard uh, symbols. And one thing we're going to add to these is some connection points, which we'll be using later on. So we select the connection point tool, and then we'll be holding down the control key, selecting the circle in this case, holding down the control key, establishing a connection point in the center on the side. The other side, the top, and on the bottom. Now we'll be selecting the square, holding down the control key, and putting connection points in the center of all the sides. We'll get out of that tool, go to the select tool. Um, next thing we're going to do is create some special shapes here. Uh, we'll be doing a symbol for a fire alarm horn. To do that, I'm going to copy the square by just uh, grabbing it, moving it over, then holding down the control key. Select a line and draw a line like this. Take it over here and back to the beginning. It's going to become our fire alarm horn. Now I'm going to select uh, all of these shapes and I'm going to give them uh, no fill to make it easier to work with. Then uh, we're going to be doing a symbol for a strobe. And we will start out with a strobe that will be inside a horn and do that I'm going to make a circle and here I want to change my line size a bit Now the, uh, this will be the center of the strobe. And I'm going to select the horn and just temporarily change the size of that line to make this a little bit easier to work on. And I'm going to put some lines in here. That will give me a horn strobe symbol. I'm going to select the inner part of this and change that line thickness a bit. And go up here to line weights, go to more line weights, and select a custom weight. Right now it's 0.24 points, so I'm going to change that to 0.48. Double the thickness. And take the 
outer part of that symbol and go to that standard line weight right there. Now I'm going to make another uh, strobe symbol and for that I'm going to select the components that I've already put in here. I'm going to remove the outer part and then drag this whole thing over and hold down the control key and copy it. And I'm going to use a symbol here which is designed to indicate a wall device. And again, I'm going to change the uh, thickness on these lines. Okay, I have a square, a horn, a horn strobe combination, and I'm going to do a few initiating devices here. Take a circle, move it over, hold down the control key to copy it. And I'm going to create a circle, which will be part of a symbol for a heat detector. Now this circle doesn't have any fill, it's actually just a line, it's a thick line, and that's going to affect the group behavior. So that's an important characteristic. Before I put that circle in there, I'm going to center this. Line it up with the grid. a heat detector and now I am going to do a smoke detector. This will use a free form line. And I'm going to make that kind of a thick one. our symbol for a smoke detector. I'm going to add some text to these, in one particular case at least. I'm going to put a letter P here for a pull station. I'm going to take that P my uh, font size to uh, six point and make that bold and then the text box I'm going to shrink that down grab it and uh, reduce the size of that Now, uh, you notice that the letter is off-center in the text box. I'm going to um, format that text block 
by uh, reducing the top margin to uh, one point margins to zero. centered that is right there. I'm going to bring that down and put it in the square. And I'm going to select both of those and I'm going to center them into aligned shapes, selecting horizontal and vertical alignment. I'm going to be centering on that. Now the last step in this is I'm going to group each of these. So I'll select everything in there and go uh, shape group. And that's it. They're all grouped. Uh, the next video we'll be getting into uh, some details in terms of establishing uh, layers in these devices as well as uh, data fields, which we'll use later on for reporting.